Hi, Jess here from thejezza.blogspot.com and I'm here with another festive Thursday. The big day is nearly on us, but if you're anything like me, you haven't sent any Christmas cards yet. I gave a few out at the weekend that I saw in person, but I haven't actually done my mass Christmas cards, so I'm still making some. So this is what I'm making today. Um, a nice little snow Christmas card. Love the elegance and simpleness of that. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So to make this card, I'm using some extra thick Whisper White. So a piece of A4, cut in half, scored in half. I'm using some foiled silver card, uh, and that's cut um, for the the mat that is a quarter of an inch shorter and a quarter of an inch um, thinner to give us a nice uh, border. And then I'm cutting the next mat out of standard um, Whisper White, again another quarter of an inch, so we get the nice sort of layering effect. I'm going to emboss the um, Whisper White with the Winter Wonder embossing folder and then I'm using the large letter dies to spell the word snow and I'm going to be cutting those out of this card because you're not going to see the inside so to not have wastage I will be cutting the, the word snow um, out of this. I'm going to be um, moving it about slightly so that um, it cuts like that so we've still got enough layer. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the embossing and the cutting and come back to you. So there, so I've cut the, the snow out and I've embossed this, you can see, at a slight angle um, so that it's uh, got in the, uh, the middle of me a bit of card and got most of the snowflake in like so um, and then this these letters are just cut out nicely I hope that's not shining it's shining right in my eye well, I hope it's not shining in yours okay so that's the nice letters cut out and it's just a way of saving on cardstock because you're not actually going to see this inside bit so it doesn't matter I actually quite like that that's quite cool isn't it could just do that with the centre of the O cut in there. Look at that, that's not bad, is it? Hmm, give me ideas. So they just pop out really easily. Like so. Put them to one side, don't want to lose them. Okay, so let's uh let's get putting it together. So I'm just gonna get a bit of Pass fuse there on the back. Hmm. I might have come to the end. Let's just I think I've come to the end of that one. So we use a bit of Tombow. And actually, because I want to make sure this is adhered, probably is the better glue to use. There we go. Oh, missed a bit in the corner there. That'll do nicely. So, just using my grid mat to help, making sure it's straight. The light's shining on that, so I was finding that a little bit difficult. There we go. Now you could pop this up on dimensions if you wanted to. I'm just going to stick it down for quickness, but um, you could do that. But if you're worried about post and it going through, I tend to, for ones I'm posting, I don't really use much dimensionals anymore. Because you just, you just hold the queue up, don't you? Insisting that they measure it all although I have now got a little plastic thing with the post thickness on so it does make it a little bit easier I am quite confident now when I go to the post office that it is at the right size there we go and then again you could stick these up on dimensionals or just stick them down I'm just going to stick them down for um, I'm just going to actually check where they need to go. Mm. 
now you can do it in a straight line so if you're going to do it in a straight line to help get it in a straight line I'm going to take a bit of washi tape I'll try and get it straight this time That's better. So then we know we are going to be on straight. So a little bit of Tombow on my letters, not too much. Don't want it to ooze out. Line it up on the washi. And then we have it, and then you just take your washi off. And there you have a lovely Christmas card. I did actually take a little bit of the topping off there. You need to be careful about that. But that is a lovely card. Quite simple, quite elegant. Hope you like it. All the measurements and everything will be on my blog, nudgeza.blogspot.com. See you again soon.